Good morning, folks. We've got a couple excellent science findings to share today. Solar forcing of major oscillations and underestimation of magnetic changes over time. But we've also got space weather and watches set, so let's begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We saw a few more solar flares coming from the incoming limb. Could have more sunspots on the north to deal with here soon. Meanwhile, we left off with two CMEs heading for Earth. One was to impact yesterday, the other tomorrow first one struck yesterday evening. The solar wind shows the weak but noticeable shockwave enhancement of the solar wind. Luckily, the interplanetary magnetic field was tipped largely northward, precluding geomagnetic storm conditions. It just took the KP up off the floor a bit, but fell short of those storm levels. Of course, there is the second X-Class flare, which we reported in the morning yesterday, another full halo CME event, and it is likely to impact Earth tomorrow. Both NASA and NOAA predict another weak impact, like the one we took last night, but auroras and minor storm conditions are a bit more likely with this one. Two other quick notes. We've got a sun-diving comet incoming bottom right. It is going to hit the sun today. And while all the eruptive activity is going on, the high-energy protons have been surging. We've quietly crept up to level 2 storm conditions overnight, and right now they are pretty well hammering the polar regions. There's a modest ozone depletion event underway. First up in the articles is this, suggesting that the commonly used beryllium isotopes often underestimate the magnitude of geomagnetic changes that happened in the past. That's a bit unnerving since they have suggested a 60 to 200 percent surge in cosmic radiation during geomagnetic excursions, like the one we're about to have here on Earth, meaning the actual numbers are likely a bit higher. Second, we've got this excellent paper on solar forcing of the North Atlantic Oscillation. We've seen that correlation noted many times before, but confirmation is always good, especially since that oscillation controls so much of the weather around the world and is completely ignored by climate models. It's their favorite thing to do to the sun. Folks, we've got a lot coming up at Observer Ranch before the end of the year. Two mini conferences, a kids event on Halloween, warm event celebrating Thanksgiving, and our first special guest, Adrian D'Amico, will be around December 14th. We'll be discussing the spookier aspects of the craziness ongoing in the world today. Lots of good reasons to come out and see us, hoping to shake many of your hands in person. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.